Hi, I'm Alana. Welcome to another video. So in today's video, we are exploring the Bible verse Isaiah 41.10. So this verse reads, So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. So what is the meaning of this verse? So this was said to the Israelites. God said this to the Israelites. And the Israelites were God's chosen people. But the Israelites were also very naughty. So what does that mean? So the Israelites, they were God's chosen people, but they were unfaithful to God. And so... What God had to do was he had to let them get conquered by the Babylonians. And so, so the Israelites were conquered by the Babylonians. And why God had to do that was because they were being continuously unfaithful. And so he gave them basically an ultimatum and he said, look, if you continue to be unfaithful, then I will just leave you like and I will just leave you. And so that's what happened. And so that's why the Israelites were conquered by the Babylonians. But then God showed them his power by getting rid of the Babylonians. I really hope I get this right. <laughs> yeah, so he got rid of the Babylonians. And, and so what that means is that even though the Israelites were unfaithful to God, God was still faithful to them. And so that's why he says in this verse, So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. What this verse means is that when you are afraid, you should pray. Pray to God about what you are afraid of. Tell him what you are afraid of, and he will give you guidance. Like He will tell you whether maybe you need to face your fears head on, or if you need to avoid certain danger, if you pray and you tell God your fears, then he will comfort you and he will guide you. And so basically what this verse means is that God is the only God, the only one true God who has the power to assuage, 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 assuage your fears. <laughs> assuage your fears. Like, only God has the power to make your mountain of fears look like a molehill. Think of how God gave Samson the physical strength that he needed to injure the enemies of Israel. Or how God gave Elijah the strength to survive 40 days in the desert with one miraculous meal. So this verse means that only the true God is able to, like only the true God has that power. Only the true God has the power to make your mountain of fears look like a molehill. Only the true God has the power to give you the strength to overcome your fears. So what this verse means basically is that even though you are naughty, like even though you are a sinner, <laughs> it means that if you are genuinely one of God's people, like if you have made a genuine profession of faith, but then maybe you have fallen short, maybe you have fallen into sin, then God is saying, do not fear, like I will strengthen you. God is saying, even though you are a broken sinner and you are naughty sometimes, <laughs> if you have been humbled and you have repented, then you should fear not because God will strengthen you. And so that is the meaning of the Bible verse Isaiah 41.10. Thank you for watching this video. You're beautiful. You're perfect. I love you. God bless you. If you're new, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. 